All right, it's just gonna be a, a Groundhog Day situation now. All the way down, all the way, yeah. Well, not all the way down, but I'm, just, I'm gonna go all the way to the water so you don't get hurt. You just keep on keeping on. Welcome back to Malar. I'm gonna review this game called Miseria. It's a free game on Steam. It's worth checking out, being free. It's done well. It's very frustrating. It has good reviews on Steam itself. Uh, Noelle, the character, finds herself trapped in a mysterious castle. Use her bow along with her unique platforming system or unique platforming system in the game and climb your way back to freedom in this old school 3D platformer. That is what it is. That's a good description of the game. Uh, it looks like an old PS1 game, which I'm a fan of. So it did a good job on it. it has controller support, which is nice. Um, I think I'm saying the name right, Miseria. So we're just going to play. So let's press A so you can go to the controller, which you want to do. So a little intro was her sleeping in this cell. Controls are pretty tight. The question marks are going to give you a tutorial. A to jump. B to roll. You can roll through these barrels. Um, hopefully you can hear the noise a little bit better. It's not too much sound in the game. Uh, grab the ledge. Like Laura Croft, of course. Very Tomb Raider-like. You can control the camera. See these vines you can climb. But you can't like jump climb. Like if you try to jump, you'll get stuck, and if you let go of the direction you're holding, you'll fall. So keep that in mind because that's uh, a bit of a pain. So left trigger to slide. To run, you're just going forward. There's no run button. So I side and press uh, the jump for a higher jump. So in these long gaps here, you gotta run, slide, click the button pretty quickly, do the long jumps. This game is very good about being just the right amount of frustration where you wanna keep going once you fall off a platform and you fall way down. You have to do a lot of it over again. It's very annoying. That's your swimming movement. Gonna jump down, just press forward to go down. She doesn't have um, like a breath meter, which is nice. So there's no like urgency about being underwater. Now we get our bow. So what do you say it is? Uh, right trigger. So we're gonna shoot the rope. Right there, and right here. The ghost is going to tell you some more things about trying to get out of the dungeon, so you don't get stuck stuck down there with him. I haven't found anything in any of these breakable barrels, so I think they're just there. So that's the tutorial. I don't know why the FPS is up there on the screen. I may have hit something, I don't know. So it may not be there when you play. So this tower here, you're gonna climb up this this huge tower. I didn't get very far and I played it for I felt like an hour or so. But it felt it was fun until it wasn't of course. So yeah, make sure you judge all these platforms correctly, like when to do the um that that there, the left trigger dash jump. The exit is at the top of the tower. Maybe with your bow, you may be able to climb out. Good luck. All right, so now you gotta make sure you look around for where your bow can hit these ropes to lower things so you can jump on them. So at this, you may just try to jump and you won't make it. You go all the way down to the water. And you'll have to swim slowly back over to the vines. Climb back up here. And this is where sometimes her ledge grab is iffy. Most of the times it's okay, but the problem in like this type of game, most of the times is a problem. It needs to be like 100% of the time a good grab. And you have a little space to run here, so you gotta make sure you get yourself enough room to run. Hit the left trigger, and try to make that jump. So this took a while just because 
kept falling all the way down to the water and you have to climb this vine part over and over again. So some of that stuff can really get frustrating. Now if you're really good at platformers, uh, maybe it'll take you a lot less time. Now even this jump here can mess up. Like there she grabbed and sometimes she won't grab but she'll fall all the way down. Uh, this beam here was tricky for me. Uh, you kind of have to do the left trigger jump and kind of let go at the right time. If not, you'll fall. Let's see how we do. Okay, made it. Nice. Always good to make it on the first try when you're trying to record. All right, here. It's hard to judge. Like that is like a, I guess it's a short jump, right? So yeah, it's a short jump. I'm going to go for it. You definitely want to hold up like towards to make sure you jump on the platform and try to grab it every time. So we're going to keep going up. Sometimes you'll miss that and then of course you want to be careful here. Uh, that first beam I missed a lot when I first played this game. I missed it a lot. It's a pretty cool looking character. Design-wise, it's simple. This controls better than PS1 Lara Croft, which is nice. That not so nice. <laughs> so now I'm back at this beam. So I've messed up once. You know, if I mess up again, it's all the way down. Okay, I'm gonna keep going. See how we do. Whoa! But it plays very well. It gets frustrating though, it does. Um, the sound effects are nice. It has that empty feel that you're alone in this tower. There's some water drips. And then it's like a light kind of hum. Okay. This ghost again is going to give you a little bit of advice. Gotten further, anyone, don't give up. So we have another arrow part here. It's going to come down. Try not to fall off. So again, this is a long jump. So you got to do it accordingly. And I missed it. But luckily, sometimes, sometimes you'll look out and not fall, not fall all the way down. So this is Miseria. It is made by, what's this made by? Developer Conrad Pulowski. Felt publisher is Cloudless Studios. So they, I think they did a very good job on this game. Get back to it. Could use keyboard and mouse, I'm not going to. A little dust effect on her, her boots. All right, so we know what he said. I'm gonna go jump, jump, jump. And then we got a long jump here. Oh, we made it. So, can be very frustrating, that's for sure. Now we're here. So it's two short jumps. When I say short jumps, I mean just press A. Long jump, you got left trigger A to get to the next the next um, platform, which is be like this. this is not a regular jump, so <laughs> not too far down. See how far we can get. So I made it maybe three or four more platforms up. I have no idea how high this tower is. As you can see, it'll take you uh, some trial and error. And if you can deal with falling down a lot, stuff like that, I think you'll I think you'll enjoy it, no matter what. It is free. That was my fault because I didn't press the left trigger. But this is Misria. You're like, hey, you didn't get far at all. I didn't, but <laughs> it is fun. Oh, man. That's rough. Where am I? Okay, back down here. But it's free, so it's definitely worth checking out. Um, I would give it a thumbs up. I think it's well done. 
as frustrating as it is for me to not get very far. Now, this is my second time playing it. I figure I'll give it a review because it is well done and it's cool that it's free. So maybe it's, I don't know what the length is, I can't tell you. So it's two shorts. We need a long jump. Come on. I accidentally hit the bow button. That's my fault. All right. It's just going to be a, a Groundhog Day situation now. All the way down. All the way. Yeah. Well, not all the way down, but I'm, I'm going to go all the way to the water so you don't get hurt. You just keep on keeping on. Go back over here. Climb up. And you're at the start. <laughs> you're at the start of the level, and you can look up. The daunting tower but I do like the game oddly enough I, I actually do like this game quite a bit so from the small amount that I've uh, gotten into the game I would give it I would give it an 8 out of 10 uh, maybe it gets even more frustrating that might lower the score because you, you do want to be able to finish the game um, yeah that is Misria it is on Steam for free check it out smash that like button Thanks for watching Triple R. Have a good day or night, wherever you are. Thanks.